Our mental health globally is so intensely impacted by the pandemic and the levels of uncertainty day in and day out for people all over the world. I, for one, my chronic stress symptom is hair loss. I don't know what yours is, but if you feel like your head is ready to explode, I have a few things that really help to tamp down on stress levels. All you need is clean fingers, a pair of yoga tune-up balls, an alpha ball, and a block, and of course, you. I like to start off with some self-massage for the obicularis oculi. This is the, the eye muscle that you use to stare constantly at your computer or your cell phone, checking for news updates. So what you do is you find your high cheeks and you just start to pinch and gently roll the skin around the orbit. So I'm not actually in my eyelids, but I'm rolling around, I'm in eyebrow, eyebrow row right now. So you can roll, you can pinch, you can traction out. Obviously, if you have on a lot of makeup, it's gonna get really sloppy. But here in the center of your, your brow furrow, you've got something called the corrugator supercilii and a muscle known as the procerus. This is that consternation muscle. But I will just sit here and I will roll again and again and again, tractioning, pinching, and also pressing in. So there's this pull out and there's this push in. And of course, clean fingers are paramount here. Uh, the next thing, the next move that I find very helpful for stimulating the relaxation response, all of these, by the way, stimulate your vagus nerve, which is key to resetting your, your stress levels, is the jaw joint. So for this, I'll use a yoga tuna ball and place it not on the temporomandibular joint, but just in front of it. And so I'm adjusting my head here, tilting down slightly. And the ball is like a little, like a little hook. It's like a, a bit, like a horse bit on a muscle called the masseter. So if you're used to clenching your teeth, clenching your fists, and just oh, stoking the frustrations, this is a great way to release that. Open and close the jaw. And you can get both of them at once by using your second yoga tune-up ball and using a little bit of force from this hand, stretching breathing and helping the masseter to relax. And next is for your next. The alpha ball is going to be placed right at the, the junction where your neck meets your skull on a soft tissue connector called the nuchal ligament. The nuchal ligament is a, a tough, connective tissue that is the, the zipper, the hook for the upper trapezius fibers. And so if your upper traps have been hypertonic and you've been feeling like a vampire uh, for the last few months, this is a really great hot spot to come to and let the alpha support your cranium and your brainstem. Also here deep to this are the suboccipitals. So your suboccipitals um, can get very short and tight from the constant gazing at monitors and phones. So first you just wanna let your body sink here and start to feel the process of traction of your head moving further away from your neck. Of course, breathing deeply through your nose and then a slow motion, no motion as the ball crosses across the months of crust and aggravation and stored stress that often get lodged in the back of your neck. You can create any type of tiny movements, little circles, little X's, figure eights. Another thing you can do here is to create a really gentle rocking oscillation. The body loves rocking. It's a very primal movement, really kicks into um, your vagus nerves, uh, primal reset. And so your head will just involuntarily nod. And then settle yourself for a little breathing practice. So our last chunk of this practice is the chocolate chip cookie breath. And so personally for me, when I think about fresh baked chocolate chip cookies, I have an emotional link to it. It sends me into this feeling of warmth and reverie. 
And so this is a breathing practice where you take one long inhalation through your nose and then take a second quick inhalation through your nose, hold the breath, and then allow the exhale to come out through your mouth. And that big first whiff, you're sniffing chocolate chip cookies. The second quick whiff, you want to get just a little bit more of that chocolate chip cookie scent in your body, and then exhale, let it out through your mouth, and it can come out through a sound or through a you know breath sound or even a, a vocalized sound. And what this breath does is it simulates a set of neurons in your brainstem called the pre-Botzinger complex, and it, essentially they're known as psi neurons, and these psi neurons, or this one big breath followed by a second quick breath, is known to induce the psi response. So again, it's a deep relaxation invoking type of breath. So that chocolate chip breath is a breath practice that I've been teaching to my daughter, who's also been clearly showing accumulated anxiety in her body. This works for children, it works for adults, it works for your biology and your physiology. So I hope this whole little, little brain exploding bouquet helps your head, your mindset, and your heart to feel more at ease and reset you.